Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I'm going to give you three ways to manifest abundance, manifest money, manifest wealth, okay? I have a lot to speak about this topic because I have been studying money manifestation for two years and on my spiritual path have I uncovered a lot of, lot of things that you can, that can help you and benefit you in manifesting abundance and wealth and living the life that you desire. So I've written them down here. I'm just going to look down. So the first one is to embody the divine feminine energy. Now, let me explain what the divine feminine energy is. The divine feminine energy is that goddess energy within you. Okay. And that energy is someone who knows her worth, who knows her abilities, who knows she deserves a good life. And what happens is when we are desiring wealth, we usually don't believe we are deserving of a good life, of a happy life subconsciously. So when we embody this divine feminine energy and we really ground ourselves and root ourselves in self-love and we really love ourselves and we really feel into the body and we, we give so much love to ourselves, which is the divine feminine, it's the mother Gaia of earth, it's the mothering, the nature, right? When we are in this world and mother earth, we are nurturing, we are creating earth, okay? So we have to do that to ourselves. When we embody that divine feminine essence, we realize that we deserve a life of bliss. We deserve to live the life we desire. The life I am living, I had to go through this whole journey to realize I deserve to live this life, right? I live on an island. I do what I love for a living. I feel so happy. I get to do yoga on the beach every morning. I, eat, I get to eat beautiful food. I get to see the ocean. I live right by the ocean. Like I just really enjoy my life. And to accumulate the wealth to be able to live this life because I had to go through this whole journey. When I accumulated this wealth, that came from knowing I deserved this life, knowing I deserved wealth to create this life. So the first step is enhancing that divine feminine energy. I have many videos as well as a course down below on how to enhance the divine feminine so that you can manifest and attract your dream life because the dream life you deserve, you really deserve from your soul, comes from going within to the divine feminine to see what you actually desire, to see what you really deserve because the body knows what you deserve. The mind thinks we don't deserve a lot. And so the mind makes you really afraid and the mind makes you scarce and the mind makes you want to, you know, work like it's always in panicking. It's always in fear. The feminine trusts, she's in flow. She's still with nature. She's still with everything. She's aligned with herself. And when she's grounded in her body, when she is in love with her body, rooted in that love, she radiates love that is what manifests and draws in abundance and wealth because love is the highest vibration on the planet. Rhonda Byrne always speaks about this in The Secret. When we are vibrating at love, we are drawing in things that we love. So do we hate money or do we love money? And that is the second one. Do you hate money? Do you have a nasty, dirty stigma to money? I notice when I make money videos, a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy because the controversy, because this topic is so 50-50. So <laughs> it's so 50-50. There's so much controversy. I can't say that word, Controver controversy. Con con I don't know. Controversy around, oh, there we go, around money. And so what is your rooted belief? Do you love or do you hate? Do you love or do you repel? When we are in the divine feminine energy, which goes back to the first one, we are rooted in love. So we choose to love money. We choose to appreciate money showing up for us. We appreciate that money gives us food. We appreciate that money gives us a roof over our head. We give blessings and thank you to money. When we are saying, oh, I don't need money. Money is selfish. Oh, I don't deserve this money. I can never make that much. How could I deserve that? When we are in that, we are not coming from that wholeness of the divine feminine of knowing her worth, knowing she deserves this. Yes, I deserve this. She receives the fruits of her labor. So that's the second one. What way are you seeing money? Is it bad or is it good? Is it coming from the ego, the mind, fear, or is it coming from the divine feminine of love, loving money? That is the second way to manifest money. The more we love, the more we appreciate it showing up and we realize it is coming up for us all the time. And that also ties in kind of to the second one is realizing money is just an exchange of energy. When I give you guys, let's say my courses and I'm selling my courses, I have put so much energy and I know that energy is going to transform and change your entire life forever for the rest of your life. 
So I am so comfortable with receiving the money that is given from these courses because I know that then this is going to change their life because it is an exchange of energy. Money is energy and my energy of coaching is another energy, right? It is just exchanges of energy. Understanding that money is just an exchange of energy. It's just exchanging, right? So we appreciate that exchange of energy that goes into the divine feminine and seeing it from love, seeing that love energy. The third way is the root chakra. So the root chakra is the very base chakra at the bottom of our spine. And it's red, it's the fiery color. And the root chakra is what enables us to have a house over our head, a roof over our head, to have food. It's the very basic necessities of living here on physical earth, right? That's why it's the bottom, it's grounded into the earth. It's not up in the ethers, like in the crown chakra. When we are in the root chakra, we are grounded, we are so embedded in Mother Gaia, in this physical physicality of this earth, of this world, we are able to manifest money because we're so grounded in this reality. We're so in tuned and in touch with this reality. And so in order to ground the root chakra, we need to do grounding techniques. I have many videos on this, but you know, go into Mother Gaia, connect your feet with the sand, connect your feet with the grass, these are ways that you are going to manifest money, whether you realize it or not, because you are grounding into this earth and through that embedded groundedness, we are able to realize, okay, I'm here in this physical earth. What do I desire? Going into the divine feminine, realizing you do deserve this. And then the exchange of energy, appreciating money and the love for it and really seeing it in how it shows up for you and being gratitude. That is all these ways that it is going to draw and magnetize into your physical reality, into your energetic field, into your life. Because whatever you are putting out, you are receiving a polarity of that, or I mean, a balance of that. So whatever you put out, it has to be balanced externally. Something has to match it. So the more we put out good about money, the more we feel good about ourselves, the divine feminine, we love ourselves, the more we're in this state, we will naturally draw in abundance and wealth. Okay, so that comes from being in the divine feminine, being in the body, connecting with the root chakra, connecting with the body, being here in the body, in the body, in the now, being in it being here in it. When we're in that, we are able to think clearer. We are able to see things clearer. We are able to get more clarity on how we are going to get this money. You know, we're going to allow it in with receptivity because that is the feminine. She allows goodness in. She allows it to come into her. She allows it. She welcomes it. She welcomes it in. But so many people don't feel deserving, so they are resisting and they are creating energetic blocks in their life, blocking and barriering, bar creating a big barrier basically between money because they have so much beliefs on how it's bad, but also because they are blocking it all because there's that resistance energy. There's, there's no alignment there. And when you get into divine feminine and the love, you're able to create alignment. Whatever you love will love you, okay? It's true. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. And I want to let you know that down below, I do have the Divine Feminine Goddess Program, which is a program I've created to help you embody your Divine Feminine Goddess Program. I also have a money manifestation course down below that helps you manifest money if you want to check that out. And many other manifestation courses, I can help you manifest anything you desire. So I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm sending you so much love. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.